Diesel Johnny Boy here. Um, just a bit of an update for you on my small three quarter inch hydraulic ram pump. And you've seen this one a few times on my channel. This I've been sort of experimenting with uh, different sort of ram pump designs. Uh, this particular one here is made out of um, galvanized iron fittings with the brass spring check valve, but and a sort of plastic one way valve, but the rest of it's uh, mainly iron apart from the output pipe which is just a hose or lock pipe and a bit of garden hose and and then the pressure vessels made out of a, a water bottle like an old spring water bottle now I've just added on here a little pressure gauge because I was sort of interested to see what sort of pressure my um, ram pump was be running at so I mean you don't need the you don't need these pressure pressure gauges for the pump it's just a little bit a uh, bit of interest to show everybody um that's interested in these sort of devices but usual setup here using 20 mil poly pipe I mean ideally you should use iron as your drive pipe this is the drive pipe but uh that's quite expensive and a bit more involved and I'm just sort of doing this as a bit of a just a little sort of experiment and not I don't, unfortunately I don't have a stream so I just have to use a blooming barrel of water so there's the, there's the pipe just goes around here and I've got the drum up on the shed roof it's got a 40 gallon drum with the water in it that travels down there all the way back to the pump anyway I'll switch her on and we'll have a look at the pressure gauge it's finally not raining first weekend it hasn't rained in a long time Anyway, there we go. A pump started up. As you might better hear it ticking away in the background. Let's go and have a look. There we go. Now, the output shut off at the moment. So the pressure is building up. See on the gauge. We're getting up to nearly one bar. One bar is about equivalent to 14 and a half psi. So that's what we're running at with the pump output shut off now I've got the output going up and over to the top of my house as high as I could get it before anyone starts moaning and saying that I've created a leaky siphon we can see quite clearly here that the drum the input is quite a bit lower than the output the output's right up there and you can just hear the pump you see the See the pressure wave coming back down you see the pipe wobbling there that is the pressure wave coming back down it go, travels all the way to the pump over there then it comes back again to exit out the out the uh, inlet basically that's how these pumps work it's like a pressure a pressure wave basically so the water comes in here you can see on the other but the water comes in here, slams up against the valve, shutting it. Momentarily, you've got a high pressure which has forced up the one way valve, and then hence it sort of into, um, into your bottle, your pressure vessel. Anyway, let's switch her on. Yeah, we're still running at, at one bar. I'm just going to turn the, turn the outlet on. There we go. Turn it on. Ooh. Oh, blimey, hey, there's a big surge of water that hit me on the head. There we go. There was a big build up of pressure there. But the pump will settle down now. And she'll probably run, she's running at about, what's she running at? Yeah, half a bar. She's just over, oh, just over half a bar. Just seven, seven PSI, something like that. There we go. Just, just a little bit of interest there, uh, just to see what sort of pressure these pumps put out. Obviously, uh, pressure increases with the greater head. Uh, this is quite a small setup, but she works fine now. The uh, sun is a bit bright up there, but I'll try and zoom it in. I don't know if you can see that. There is a steady trickle of water coming out up there. Bit difficult to see. 
Anyway, there we go. That's just just for interest for you. And I uh, hope you enjoy watching the video. Any feedback, let me know. Over and out. Bye for now.